Is the Bible the word of God? And if it is, should we give it reverence or should we worship it? Before I answer that, let's hear from a progressive pastor because I didn't have a headache already. Uh, while you watch that, I'm gonna get some migraine medication. The Bible is not divine. The Bible is not perfect. The Bible is not without error. And the Bible does not deserve our reverence or our worship. Okay, I'm sorry for putting you through that. Uh, I just felt like it was a relevant clip. My bad. Anyway, to begin here, I want to say that no, the Bible does not deserve our worship. If we actually even read the Bible, the contents within the Bible, it's very clear that God doesn't want us to worship a book. He wants all the worship directed at himself. Exodus 20 says, And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. Worship is reserved for God himself. Okay, but let's move further. Should we give God's word reverence? Well, to answer that, we actually need to know, is it the word of God? Because there are many people coming up that are even claiming to be Christians that call the Bible uh, unreliable or corrupted as if it has mistakes in it. And if this, that's the case, can it really be the word of God? This is an important question that we need to answer because if you're not standing on the word of God as your source of truth, and authority, you're just standing on your own subjective opinion. So if our standard of truth and foundation for how we know who God is, is corrupted, or if it's wrong, or if it has mistakes in it, then we're, we have a we have a big problem. We really do. Somebody that has been really beneficial to me on this topic is Dr. Vody Bauckham, and he talks here about whether the Bible is reliable. This is to make up for showing you that last clip. I'm so sorry about that once again. Anyway, let's listen to Dr. Vody Bauckham. I don't choose to believe the Bible just because I tried it and it works for me. I choose to believe the Bible. Now say this with me, if you will because it is a reliable collection of historical documents written down by eyewitnesses during the lifetime of other eyewitnesses. They report supernatural events that took place in fulfillment of specific prophecies and claim that their writings are divine rather than human in origin. I encourage each one of you to watch that full sermon of Dr. Vody Bauckham talking about the reliability of the scriptures. I'm gonna link it down below so you can get a chance to watch it as well. So the Bible is the word of God. No, it doesn't have mistakes in it. No, it's not outdated. No, it didn't get corrupted because it got translated so many times. Those are pretty baseless excuses just to invalidate what God says to us. And here's the thing. Should we give the Bible reverence? Yes, but that does not mean worship. Think about it this way. If God says something to you audibly, would you mock his words? <laughs> no, of course not. You wouldn't. You would attribute the weight and seriousness that his words deserve. That's how we should treat the Bible. Not merely as a respected artifact or poetic mythology, but as the word of God that we need to apply to our lives every day. That's how we give the Bible the reverence that it deserves and God's word the reverence that it deserves by actually applying it to our lives. If I were to say, oh, I really respect the Bible and I really, you know, it's, it's a great book. It's a wonderful book. And maybe it is even the word of God. And yet I were to read it or not even read it and not apply it to my life, just kind of put it off in a corner, let it get dusty. Am I really respecting or giving the Bible the reverence that it deserves, God's word, the reverence that it deserves. No, because if he said something to me, man, I should take that to heart. I should think about that. I should apply that and uh, I should do what it says. You see, for every believer, God has given us his power and his presence in our life to fulfill the calling that he has given us. He has given us his word so that we can read it every day to learn more of what he has called us to, what he is like, how we ought to interact with other believers and non-believers. It shares the good word of his gospel and that is life to us. The Bible says that God's word is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword. In 2 Timothy 3.16, it says that all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. One of the tactics of the evil one is to put doubts in our heart about the validity of the scriptures. Because if we don't think that the scriptures or God's word to us are actually valid and maybe they're corrupted and maybe they have mistakes in them, then we have no 
obligation or responsibility to apply them to our lives. It absolves us of that responsibility so we can continue to live in sin. But what the Bible does when we take it to heart is it convicts us and get the Holy Spirit uses it to convict us and draws us to repentance and a renewed faith in Jesus. And that, that is the calling of every believer is to have renewed faith, to repent daily and to have renewed faith in Jesus, to follow him. The Bible ought to be the authority of your life. What God says goes. And that's going to take a humbling process. We're going to ask God daily, humble me, Lord. Let me read what you have to say to me and let me apply it to my life faithfully. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, my name is Isaac David, and this is The Daily Disciple, where I help you follow Jesus daily. I can only create this, these videos and this content because of my supporters on Patreon. They are the ones who support me on a monthly basis and support my mission of helping people follow Jesus daily. And if you want to get in on that mission, help out, um, help support what I'm doing here, that would be absolutely amazing. You can go to the link in my bio and support today. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. God bless.